My name is Darwin, and in a moment I'll be leading you through this CSIWindows.com tutorial video. Windows applications today live in a new world. Actually, they have to live in a lot of new worlds. As companies move beyond XP to Windows 7, AppV, 64-bit, and Windows 8, you need to be prepared. CSIWindows.com is all about giving you the skills and tools needed to test, troubleshoot, and package applications. No matter what your applications face next, we make sure your skills are up to the task. After your video, come on over to CSIWindows.com where you can browse our training, subscribe to our blog, or grab a copy of our ebook. Let's take a look at CSI Extract, MSI GUID, and ICONS, a utility script that we've built to help you with getting your applications into SCCM 2012. SCCM 2012 has a couple things that you need to populate uh, that MSIs have uh, built into them, and we can extract that data in a convenient way using a script. One of the things that's helpful is the SCCM 2012 catalog allows you to use the actual application icon in your description in the application catalog to help users recognize what applications they're used to using and installing. The other thing that it's helpful for is getting the MSI product code uh, in order to use as a detection rule for an uh, SCCM 2012 application catalog uh, object. So this helper script helps you get those two pieces of information out of an MSI in the most simple and efficient way. When you download the script, uh, you'll have it in a folder somewhere on your system. If you don't want to actually install the script, uh, you can simply drag and drop onto it. So if I was to drag this uh, MSI file onto here, the same thing would happen as I'm about to demo uh, when we actually do install the script. So you can just drag and drop uh, items onto it. It can also be helpful if you have it stored on the network, uh, if you're using it on VMs or some other situation where installing it uh, is not as straightforward. Installing it is very simple. You double click it and it puts some registry keys in the registry on MSI file types and it tells us here that now we can right click any MSI and we'll have this new option CSIWindows.com extract GUID and icons. So let's take a look at that. Over here on our XML uh, notepad I'm going to pick this item and what it's going to do is check if it's installed on my system. If it's not installed on my system it's going to do an MSI advertise event. And that is the sim most simple and efficient way to get the data we want. An MSI Advertise only extracts the icons and places them on the system. And so no matter how large your package is, it's a very efficient and quick operation. The first dialog we see is a dialog detailing the actual GUID. And it's already highlighted for us in this input box. If we just hit Control C here, we automatically get a copy of that GUID and can use it in the SCCM console as an identification criteria. When we click OK, uh, it, Windows Explorer is going to take a moment to open up the icon cache folder, the MSI icon cache folder. So here we can see the two files. We can simply go to the title bar here, hit a control C, and then go to the SCCM console and browse and uh, drop this folder name in and grab the icon that we want. Sometimes it'll be ICOs, sometimes they will be exes, but in any case it'll contain the icons that are a part of the package. When we're done, we simply click OK and the package is uninstalled. It takes a little bit because of UAC prompting. And one thing to realize though is that no matter the size of our package, the timing here in order to do this is going to be roughly the same. So uh, the amount of time it takes to do XML notepad, which is less than two gigabytes, we can take a look here. We have less than uh, two, I'm sorry, two megabytes. And Adobe Reader, which is 46 megabytes. So if we tried to do an admin install to get these icons out, um, it would take notably longer and of course a lot of disk space to do Adobe compared to XML Notepad. I'm actually going to do the drag and drop, drop operation on Adobe's uh, Reader 11 here so you can see how that works. Same basic flow, uh, we get the good which we could grab right now and then we open up the icon folder and we can see the full set of icons we might want to use uh, in our SCCM catalog listing. Hopefully this little utility script will make your transition to SCCM 2012 a little easier. For details about the script, including how to download it, please visit the URL on your screen.